Hi Lobster here, I'm just um, booting Puppy, you'll see press delete to enter setup, you probably just missed that. That's during the, the BIOS um, procedure and the reason that you, you do that is to get into the BIOS if you can't boot up. I'm now going to, if you look here, Puppy, um, it would normally, it would just boot straight into Puppy from, from this point, but I'm going to, because I've got uh, a configuration on here, I'm going to put in puppy pfix equal ram, you don't need to do this, you would just boot puppy up alright, so we're going through the boot up um, procedure now now the first thing that you'll, you'll see will come up will be all the, the Linux commands, now some of these have been hidden in the latest version, but here's, here they come Okay, because they're they're now running in in parallel. Um, so anyway, this one is copying our save file. The this is the the basic file that contains all the puppy programs. Copying into RAM, um, and it's now doing the these other commands, updating the network and and so on and so forth. And then what will happen is we will get a dialog box. There's one, and it will ask me what sort of keyboard I'm using. Well. I'm in the UK, so I need um, English. Let's have a look. I think it's right down the bottom. Let's have a look. Yes, there it is. UK. All right, but most people will be using USA, or there's a whole variety of others. So I click on that, and then again the the locale. This is for the money, date, and font. It's it's all there at the top. It tells you. All right, this is for your your locale, and the one I'm going to use is English DE GB alright because I'm in Great Britain and OK and then it will ask you about where what your time zone is I'm in um, London so I've moved up to that click on OK now this one this one is the the two different drivers that drive the screen all the information is there you can read it all all right, the better one is the Zorg one, and that's the one I'm going to go for, Zorg. So I click on that, it sort of looks at my screen, tries to find out what's available, and I know that I've got 1280 and 1280 by 1024, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, and um, it's giving me two, two this is for the, the card, two different... Um, Resolution 16 or 24, 24 bit has got more colours. Again, it tells you the information there at the top. So I'm just, I'm not going to test that, but you might test it if you weren't sure. I am sure, so I'm going to click on OK. And now we will boot up, and this is Puppy 4.31, and it's a fresh, a fresh Puppy 4.31. And the first thing you're going to want to do, probably, maybe uh, not, but if you're doing uh, for example, using Puppy for, for banking, you need to have an internet connection, so you would click on connect. The connection wizard would come out, and then you would decide whether you're using uh, a modem, whether you're using uh, an internet, um, an ethernet, sorry, ethernet connection, which is directly wired, that's a very safe option, or, um, as I say, uh, um, a modem. This GPRS modem is not used much in Europe or USA I think it's more used in South America okay so um, you would do that and you might set up your your firewall if you you don't really need to do this but it might be an option to set up the firewall first and then get the internet connection but I just wanted to show you how to to boot up to start with okay bye now